David finished up his junior career as number one in the United States, winning his last junior match, which I think was the championship of U.S. National Juniors, first American to win it in quite a while. Um, then David went on, as you know, and played number one at Stanford for Dick Gould, number one singles, number one doubles, and was part of the team, helped win the NCAA, NCAA championship in 88, along with a great group of players. Then went on and had a pro career where he reached actually number 11 in the world, semi-finalist at Wimbledon, many great wins, in fact, wins over some of his compatriots of that same generation as we know. But really what made David great was the days when we were eight year, when he was eight years old and we'd get together twice a week at six o'clock in the morning on the courts at the Northwest Club. And David, I would always challenge David and I'd say to David, David, at the end of our practice, we put the tennis ball cans out there in the, in the spots on the court to hit serves. And I'd say, David, if you can hit more tennis ball cans with your serve than I do, I'll buy you a yogurt cone. Well, I still owe David about 2,000 yogurt cones. <laughs> and if you remember how the guy played, he had one of the great serves in the world when he was a player. But that's David Wheaton, the player. And I know David Wheaton, the person. I was fortunate enough to be close to David for many years. And David Wheaton, the person, is a great example of what college tennis produces, I think, what John talked about. David has got great personal values, great ethics. Some of you don't know, he's had a radio show for the, or a radio uh, broadcast for the last 10 years nationwide, uh, a Christian radio show that he's done. He's done countless numbers of, of appearances for charity and he's just been a great role model for all of the kids in our part of the country up in the great state of Minnesota. It's with great pride and humility that I introduce our next inductee into the Hall of Fame, David Wheaton. Thank you. Thanks for that uh, yep. too kind introduction. I appreciate that. It was very kind words you had to say there. And thank you, uh, David Benjamin, for uh, all you've done with uh, the ITA and uh, the ITA Hall of Fame Committee for presenting me with this award tonight. What a great honor. Special, special thankful, uh, thank you as well to Coach McGill, and uh, congratulations as well, uh, who has done so much for the uh, college game and seen the Hall of Fame today. That was uh, a great special privilege to see that as well. Congratulations also to my colleagues who went and went in this year, John and, and uh, Pat and all the coaches, Coach Creasy and Coach Smar and Coach Scarpa. To be inducted with them and with the others who have gone before me uh, is a really great honor. As I thought about receiving this, this award tonight, uh, the word grace kept uh, coming to my mind. And grace has many different meanings. Uh, some people say grace right before a meal. Uh, to thank God for being the ultimate provider of the food they're about to eat. That's one meaning of grace. Another meaning is some people play tennis with grace, which means that uh, their technique and their attitude is elegant and beautiful and pleasing to behold. Uh, Roger Federer is one that comes to mind who, who meets that uh, definition. A fortuitous turn of events, that is another type of grace. This is like the time you were down break point in the third set and uh, a ball rolled into your court from the adjoining court just as your opponent was lining up an easy overhead about two feet away from the net. The umpire might as well have yelled out, grace, instead of let at that point. <laughs> <laughs> but the meaning of grace that I, would, that I think of when accepting this award uh, tonight is the notion of grace as unmerited favor. This is the grace where we are given something of great value that we didn't and couldn't earn. Uh, something over and above what we actually deserve. So it is this kind of grace or unmerited favor that, as Jerry mentioned, I was born and raised in a loving and secure home in Minnesota with a father who faithfully served his family and a mother who was determined to help her children physically and mentally and spiritually. So to my dad and mom, who unfortunately aren't able to be here tonight, 
but who have done so much for me, more than I will ever be able to comprehend, I'm sure. I thank them and I love them, and I'm so grateful that both of them are still with us today. It is also grace, unmerited favor, that I grew up just one block away uh, from two public tennis courts in a safe neighborhood in a country of unsurpassed opportunity as the youngest of four children. Uh, for I really benefited from the lessons learned uh, and the experience gained from my two older brothers and older sister. So to them, Marnie, Mark, and John, thank you for the many and varied ways uh, you've helped me, whether coaching me, representing me, supporting me, practicing, traveling with me, generally taking care of your little brother. I thank them. It is also grace, unmerited favor, that I was able to marry my lifelong best friend, someone who has always supported and loved me. Just as an aside, I'm, I'm 42. We got married about three years ago. We've known each other since we've been, I was eight and she was five. So that's a real, that's really grace. <laughs> Brody, it is a blessing to tread life's path with you. Thank you for all you've done over my entire life, and I love you very much. It is also grace, uh, unmerited favor again, that certain individuals outside my family went above and beyond to help me. One is Jerry Noyce, an ITA Hall of Famer who had a very busy life and still does, coaching at the University of Minnesota, presiding over a large chain of fitness clubs in that city, and raising a family. He had always made time for me, as he mentioned, from coaching sessions before school when I was just eight years old uh, to organizing support team to help me on the professional tour, to even advising me during my coaching stint at the University of Minnesota. One of his best pieces of advice was when I was having trouble with some behavioral problems on the team. He said, David, when that player acts out, tell all of them they're going to be running in the side of the hockey arena. That really cleared up the, uh, the attitude behavioral problems we had very quickly. <laughs> Another person who really helped me is Nick Boliteri. He graced me with a scholarship to his academy in Florida at a time when my junior results really didn't deserve a scholarship. Two and a half years later when I graduated from high school, Nick had brought me to a point uh, in my game where I was able to receive another gift of grace. And that came from that man right over there, Coach Dick Gould, also an IT Hall of Famer, who graced me with a scholarship to Stanford and taught me, well I guess maybe more than taught me, he forced me uh, to become a serving volley player. And that really altered my trajectory as a tennis player, and I will forget, forever look back at my college tennis days with, with fondness and appreciation to have been coached by Dick, to have played with great teammates at the farm, and to have won the NCAA team championship right here in Athens 24 years ago back in 1988. So to Jerry and Nick and Dick and their wives, thank you and I'm forever indebted. Thank you. The brief time I have tonight, I know it's getting late, won't allow for mention of the many others who bestowed grace on me. And believe me, there are many others. But ultimately, though, as I heard Jerry introduce me tonight, anything I am or have accomplished, I know is by ultimately by God's grace, his unmerited favor on me. It is only because of God's goodness and mercy and, yes, his grace that I can take another breath hit another serve, and only through his son, Jesus Christ, that I was made right with him 18 years ago. That is the most amazing gift of grace I've ever been given. So thank you again to the Intercollegiate Tennis Association for this award, and all of God's best and grace to each one of you. Thank you very much.